Hello everyone, Nadlax here, and today <clears throat> we're going to be figuring out how to do flat repeated textures in 3D. I can't believe I just figured this out. It was really simple. It's going to take less than two minutes and let's stop. Let's hop straight into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a world scene. We're going to put a mesh instance down. Um, we're going to just, I don't know, like make it a plain mesh um, and make it size 50 by 50. I, as you can see over here, we want to have some sort of like mesh, um, some sort of like texture to it. So what we can do, what I found is you can do new standard material go to albedo um, and you want to grab anything literally any sort of um texture you want so you can see this is really big but if i add in a mesh instance like a cube i doesn't really like it doesn't help me understand the size of the cube because it looks like this cube is super small but in reality it's the default cube size so what can we do well if we go over here to our um, sphere or our material we can go down to uv1 and we can set the scale of whatever we want and now it looks a lot more proper and normal and this is so much better if you want you can grab prototype textures from uh, kenny.nl and these are amazing i'll use i'll use um this white one over here so i'll just go over here to file manager and i'll paste it in i'll import and it will import and then over here for this texture i will go to the albedo and i'll just drag and drop the texture in and now it looks like a unreal 5 demo or something like that and we can even do the same over here we can just add a material and um yeah now we have um basic textures on our objects in our game world so this is way better than anything else uh if you're wondering why the sizes are a little bit offset it's because of it's because they're on different type um textures if you want you can just play around with it and of course there's a prototype material no one's going to see it um, but if you want you can just play with the scale so it matches or if you want you can play with the offset whatever you want i'm just happy i could figure out how to do it and yeah that's basically it it's basic it's um in the uv1 setting that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching have an amazing day i'm going to use a few i'm going to use red because red's my favorite color i'm going to actually use uh, 